In chess, a pawn that reaches the other end of the board can be promoted to the most powerful chess piece, the queen, the goddess of chess. The soul is something similar. It is a basic pawn that, if it gets to the other side of a huge and vicious battlefield, the process of life itself, it is promoted to the highest piece of all, God. We are all pawns, yet, like any pawn, we have it in us to be heroes that cross the widest abysses, achieve the most astounding things, and become divine. But that is the fate of very few pawns. Most muddle along in eternal mediocrity, never understanding their own potential, believing in other gods rather than in their own inner godliness. In chess, every pawn is a potential queen, yet there is a queen already on the board. Most pawns go through life worshipping the queen that's already there, the prevailing power, rather than seeking to become queens themselves. Humanity can be divided into two species, one, the servile, slave-like pawn species that worships the most powerful thing they can find, the queen, the monarch, the super-rich person, the celebrity, the fuhrer, the god, and plods through life in complete mediocrity, or is on its knees worshipping power, and two, the meritocratic pawn species that is aware of its own remarkable inner potential and sees no reason why, if it's talented enough, it should not itself become god. The first species is always alienated from God and sees God as inherently external, something they could never be. The second species sees God within themselves and is not in any way alienated from God. God, for them, is internal, not external. They can truly become God, although they recognize that it will be a cosmic journey of adventure and heroism, fraught with terrible danger, upon which they must embark. Just as the humble pawn in chess must traverse a deadly battlefield featuring immensely powerful religious figures, bishops, savage knights, great lords. In their castles, rooks, and monarchy, the king and queen, so must we negotiate our way past all the great powers that oppress us and try to intimidate and destroy us. The pawn's journey in chess is always the most remarkable. The pawn that crosses the board is the true meritocrat overcoming the forces of privilege, and showing that he will bow to no. 1. Here is something for you to ponder. All of us, the whole of humanity, are remarkable. Unlike almost all souls, which remain locked in unconsciousness, our souls have achieved consciousness. In a contest amongst infinite souls, we are the ones who have made it. We are well on our way to becoming gods. We have beaten astounding odds to be where we are today. You may not realize this, but you are already the most stupendous of miracles. You are so miraculous that it is astounding that you are here at all. You may be one in 600 million. Male ejaculate can contain as many as 600 million sperm. Only one of those was you, or, actually, half of you, your father provided the sperm half of you and your mother the egg half of you. All 600 million might have failed to impregnate your mother's egg. Or any of the others, hypothetical brothers or sisters, might have made it instead of you. But, no, you were the one who ventured through the ultimate assault. Course, because a woman's body regards male sperm as an alien entity that must be destroyed, just like some virulent infection, and you succeeded where all the others failed. You are one in 600 million. You have beaten lottery odds. So why are you so humble, so beaten down by life, so cowardly, so willing to accept the shit treatment you get? You are already a remarkable warrior, you are already a god who has achieved greater feats than any of the most legendary heroes. Achilles was nothing compared with you. Artemis could never have done what you did. Live up to what you have already achieved. Make your life the reflection of the supreme struggle you endured and over which you have triumphed. Remember, one in six hundred million. Now you must do the same thing in this world of seven billion souls. Can you be one of the top ten human beings who shape human destiny? Why not? Who's holding you back except yourself? We all belong to the Lucky Sperm Club. We have all beaten staggering odds.